Sarasota is truly the most beautiful place. We have the widest open bays, uh, so the views are extraordinary with all the keys sort of sticking into the bay, the most gorgeous beaches in the world, and it's beautiful. It's just gorgeous. When we moved to Sarasota, my husband was tired of driving on the highways, and he declared that he was going to go everywhere by boat, and he does, in fact, go everywhere by boat. You wake up in the morning, the sun is shining, and it's like it's telling you to get outside and do whatever it is that you love doing. So you're either playing tennis or playing golf or kayaking or whatever else it is that you enjoy doing and what you get to do here all the time. And it's magnificent. I believe now we're the seventh largest market in the state of Florida, and uh, there are all kinds of lifestyles. There's a downtown lifestyle where you park your car and you walk to all the restaurants and shops, and you can find a contemporary loft and you can find a historical, you know, charming family home. It's now people coming from all over the world. Um, it feels very European. You have such a young, vibrant mix of people in town now, with young professionals, with people moving their business here, with young families. I believe they're drawn to this area initially because of its natural beauty and the lifestyle. It's very laid back. Uh, the people are very friendly and very open. It has a lot of elegance, but it's a very casual elegance. They like to have homes which they feel comfortable walking through in a ball gown, going to the opera, as well as walking through in bare feet because they're, they have their grandchildren out by the pool. That's really the lifestyle that they love about Sarasota. It's a very easy and, and wonderful place to live, but yet if you want to go out for a night on the town, and experience the arts and experience theater and ballet, there's really no better place on the West Coast than there is over here. To have our own, our own symphony, our own um, ballet, nine live theaters, it's an incredible blessing. Selby Garden is amazing. Our own botanical garden, it's another one of those, as I like to call them, gifts that Sarasota has. It's just exquisite. Burns Court's wonderful because you have all kinds of elements there. You have wonderful shopping and a lot of specialty shops. And then you have the Burns Court Theater there, which has foreign films and independent films. And St. Armand's Circle, it's just, it's a wonderful place to spend the afternoon. You're going around in circles uh, being entertained by retail. I mean, does it get any better with an occasional wonderful restaurant tossed in there? It's a plethora of, of fine dining. The palate around Sarasota is very refined. We're a very small community, and in this small community, we have hundreds of really wonderful restaurants. Socially, it's, it's an amazing town. Uh, you could be out every night of the week, um, several times over, attending um, all of the various events. The Black Ties, Orchid Ball, the Wine Fest, the Stone Crab Festival, Sarasota Film Festival, where we have a glittery night with all of the Hollywood stars coming to town. It's exciting. It's, it's fun. In a, in a day in the life in Sarasota, um, I will be on the beach, uh, walking the beach. My children will be sailing in the bay. My husband will be at a golf course and we'll be in a live theater that evening. And we will have eaten at a fantastic restaurant, which we will have not have made reservations. So to me, the lifestyle is what is absolutely extraordinary. You look at this place that you live in and you just have to pinch yourself.